all right guys uh, welcome back to another video uh, in this video we'll be seeing about a small application created uh, using a module random so it is a basic basically it is a password generator uh, created using the module random and uh, I'll just show you the code this is the code there are four different uh, functions used within it so first function is used for generating password based on this alphabet and alphabet range length of the alphabet um, this function is used for replacing one or two uh, uh, values or alphabets or letters with a number with two or more numbers and same for this replacing uh, two or more values or uh, with the uppercase letters so two or more letters or numbers etc or with the uppercase letter and um, this is the main function where all the um, activity related to the user is being performed so asking about how many uh, passwords do you want to generate and uh, length of the password and uh, uh, the uh, generating of the password should be of minimum three length so yeah i'll just show you here so this is the variable alphabet for storing all the uh, uh, alphabets from a to c list of all the passwords generated will be stored within this uh, list this is a loop for generating uh, the passwords all the instance will be stored within this variable password or passwords and uh, these are the functions which are used over here for replacing it with a number and replacing it with a uppercase letters and uh, these are the parameters provided over here p word p word that is a password and uh, as i have said before replacing it with number and replacing it with uppercase letters so uh, the password will be generated uh, with the so the basically the password will generate consist of numbers lowercase letters uppercase letters and no special characters like at or asterisk or colon etc so i'll show the output so how many passwords do you want to generate five so generating five passwords minimum length of the password should be three and the first length of the first password so eight four seven nine four and these are the generated passwords so these all passwords are stored within the list passwords and here are the passwords being combined together for example let's take the example of uh, this so all the numbers or uh, letters within this password are being performed within this loop within these uh, two loops and uh, and then appended to the uh, appending it to the main password list here are the instance will here the instance of the password will be stored and here all the list of generated password the passwords will be stored so that's it guys uh, i just wanted to show you this small code snippet and uh, the code will be available in the description and uh, any improvements or suggestions are always welcome so in the future i'll just try to uh, do it with a help of a gui so all the user actions which are this will be performed with the help of a gui people do like guis and this is like a command line interface of python so it is not much interactive but guis are always appreciated so i'll just next time i'll just try to do it with the help of a gui so stay tuned for it guys and uh, thanks for watching